Hello movie lovers, Bob for Bob's movie review here and today I'm bringing you guys my new Blu-ray and DVD shopping guide and reviews for January 26, 2021. I hope you guys do enjoy the video. Remember, you can find affiliate links to purchase these movies down in the description below. So, uh, I know I haven't posted my February preview video yet. Uh, hopefully, that'll be coming soon. Uh, I want to let you guys know that I built my new PC and the videos are rendering so fast. Um, I did do uh, one, one or two 4K videos, um, but the render time for the 4K videos was more like my old render time for 1080 videos, which I, I could deal with that. But the processing time on YouTube uh, seems to be ridiculously long on 4K. So I'm not sure that I really want to switch over to 4K right now or that's really even that big of a deal. Um, so let's get into this week's video, guys. A lot to talk about. First up is Batman Soul of the Dragon. This one's releasing on 4K Blu-ray and digital. Amazon and Walmart $24.96, Best Buy and Target $27.99. It is also releasing on a Blu-ray and digital copy combo pack, Amazon and Walmart $19.96, Target $19.99, and Best Buy $22.99. Warner Brothers did send me over a copy of Batman Soul of the Dragon for review. I did post an unboxing of this. If you like, check that out. Just search for Batman Soul of the Dragon on my channel. So this one was uh, a lot different than a lot of the Batman stuff we're used to seeing, and I feel like that in a way it was good and it was bad. So this uh, is kind of like like a 70s style kung fu uh, movie obviously as an animation and it does star Bruce Wayne and, and Batman to a small extent so there's this group of I think it was four uh, maybe it was maybe it was five at the beginning but they were these uh, um, young people who were studying uh, this martial art from uh, their sensei and he was basically teaching them to protect this sword because the sword could be used to bring back some kind of being to earth to control earth and as these movies always go someone is trying to bring this being to earth to control everyone i'm never sure what they get out of it but uh they end up losing the sword and they have to get it back and they have to come together as a team and fight all these different you know just kind of foot soldiers and then there's there's kind of higher up people and you know uh i thought it was really fun i really thought the you know the i really thought the art direction the animation the music was really great and fun kind of a 70s kung fu throwback um and i really enjoyed the movie but you know it didn't feel too much like a batman movie in fact batman wasn't in it that much he didn't wear the costume that much uh, bruce wayne i think was probably in it more than batman but uh so yeah i don't i don't know what you guys will think exactly well it was a fun interesting movie it, it wasn't really too much of a Batman movie, I wouldn't say. But I gave this one a three and a half out of five. Like I said, I did enjoy it for what it was. Next up is Fat Man. This one is releasing on a Blu-ray and digital. Amazon and uh, Walmart $14.96, Best Buy $14.99, and Target No Listing. It is also releasing on a DVD, Amazon and Walmart $12.96, Best Buy $12.99, and Target No Listing. Paramount Home Entertainment sent me over a copy of Fat Man for review. I did post the unboxing of this. If you'd like to check that out, just search for Fat Man on my channel. So they went a little bit of a strange way with this one. Not that it uh, didn't work in the end, but Mel Gibson plays Chris Kringle himself, Santa Claus, and he's got this deal. Uh, they only mention with the United States, but obviously he must have a deal with uh, other countries too, as Santa Claus does deliver presents around the world. Uh, to, to make toys and deliver them to kids, but as time goes on, kids get more and more bad, and he decides to give them coal more and more often, and he's basically going broke because the government says, well, we only pay you for toys delivered, and this whole part, like, to me just seems so weird and out there and uh, not really that important uh, to me as, as far as the movie. Uh, he ends up being contracted by the army to make cameras for planes or something and so he ends up bringing this rich spoiled kid Cole and the kid hires a hitman to kill Santa Claus so he has to figure out where Santa Claus lives track him down and uh try to kill him so towards the end it, there is actually a, a lot of violence in this one you know that was an interesting movie um, definitely a, a weird concept, but it, it worked all right, and I did enjoy this one. I gave it a three to five. I thought it was a little better than all right, but I wasn't super into it. Next up is Synchronic. This one is releasing on a Blu-ray, 
Amazon and Walmart $14.96, Best Buy $14.99, and Target $19.99. It is also releasing on a DVD, Amazon and Walmart $12.96, Target $12.99, and Best Buy $14.99. Well, Google USA did send me over a copy of Synchronic for review, and I did post an unboxing on my channel. If you'd like to check that out, just search for Synchronic on my channel. So this one has Anthony Mackie, and he's great in this movie, guys. He's a, he's a really good actor, and I felt like he was kind of the shining star in this movie. A very strange kind of idea. These guys are paramedics in New Orleans, and they kind of always get brought out to these uh, really just terrible scenes of people doing this strange drug, and it just seems to really be messing people up. And um, so they look into it. It's this drug called Synchronic. Now, Anthony Mackie's character decides to go buy whatever he can find, and then he mysteriously meets the guy who invented it, and he says, oh, this drug allows you to time travel if this certain thing in your brain hasn't uh, formed well enough or <laughs> matured enough or whatever. I don't know. To me, the whole idea that you could take this drug and it would allow you, because you're um, an adolescent, to time travel just seems so ridiculous. I mean... <laughs> this movie obviously isn't meant to be based on any kind of facts, but it just seemed uh, really out there to me. And so his friend's daughter ends up disappearing, and he feels like somehow this time travel thing has something to do with it, and he's going to find her and bring her back. Now, at the same time, and I don't know if this was just to explain why his brain was able to go back in time, but he has like a brain tumor, or I can't remember exactly what they said it was, and so I guess that's what allowed him to, but they go into a lot of him like going to the doctor and kind of dealing with this fact that he's gonna probably die, um, and they're not really sure how much time he has left, but to me it kind of distracted from the movie. But overall guys, I thought it was an interesting movie for sure. A, a little long, I think at an hour and 43 minutes, you know, I think if they had not spent so much time kind of focusing on like him getting brain scans and, <laughs> you know, all of that kind of stuff to me, I think uh, slowed down the movie. Uh, but I did enjoy it guys, I gave it a three out of five. It's definitely one worth uh, checking out. Next up is Born a Champion. This one's releasing on a Blu-ray and digital. Amazon and Walmart $14.96, Best Buy and Target $14.99. It's also releasing on a DVD. Amazon and Walmart $12.96, Target $12.99, and Best Buy $13.99. Now Lionsgate did send me over a copy of Born a Champion for review. I did just barely get this one in, so I will have to hopefully bring you guys a review next week and an unboxing uh, here in the next couple days. Next up is The Court Jester. This one's releasing on a Paramount Presents Blu-ray, Amazon, Best Buy, and Walmart $22.99, and Target No Listing. Now Paramount did send me over a copy of The Court Jester for review. I had never seen this one before. It is from 1956. And uh, I did post unboxing. If you like, check that out. Just search for The Court Jester on my channel. So this one was about, obviously, you know, kind of like medieval times, uh, knights, kings, jesters, and whatnot. And there's this king. And I don't know if they make it real obvious whether or not the king knows or not, um, but he's actually not the rightful king. There's this baby that has the royal birthmark and um, there's this group of men who are protecting the baby because um, you know they'll want to kill the baby to hide that he's not the real king. But again, I don't know that they really say for sure if he knows that the baby's the actual king. So he ends up getting sent undercover to um, do something at the castle. And when he gets there, he gets like hypnotized by this woman and there's a mix up on his contact and just kind of all this crazy stuff happens. You know, sometimes he's like a brave fighter and sometimes he's not and he's interested in the princess and he's interested in this other girl. And it's like he keeps going back and forth between the two characters um, because he was hypnotized. And I, I did find that like, I did laugh at quite a few things in this one. Um, but I would say for fans of this movie, like if you're a fan of this movie, this movie looked amazing for a 1956 film. Uh, really nice color and clarity to the picture. Uh, really enjoyable um, visually. And I kind of liked the movie. Like it wasn't one that I got super into, but I did give it a three out of five. Next up is Come Play. This one's releasing on a Blu-ray and digital. Amazon, Best Buy and Walmart, $19.99. Target, $22.99. Also releasing on a DVD. Amazon and Walmart, $17.96, Best Buy and Target, $17.99. Universal Home Entertainment did send me over a copy of Come Play for review and to post an unboxing of this, so like, check that out. Search for Come Play on my channel. So right off the bat, guys, this is a PG-13 horror movie, but I feel like they, they did a pretty good job, and it wasn't a super new kind of idea. Uh, basically, somebody is watching everyone or 
this one specific kid uh, through tablets and phones and, and whatnot. Or so this thing kind of comes up on a tablet. Uh, Larry wants to be your friend or whatever. And if you read the whole story, um, you won't be able to stop him. Or you know, that doesn't seem like they get through the whole story ever until like towards the end. So you never know what the whole story is. But um, his mom and dad are kind of breaking up and, and he doesn't talk and just things are not going real well for him and he's sad and, and this some kind of entity um i think it was called larry something like that uh wants to come and be his friend now to me the kind of explanation where he came from and everything i don't know i didn't i didn't care for that too much and i mean you kind of know obviously that something bad's gonna happen but you're not real sure exactly what will happen if he goes with him and so basically the whole time uh, this entity is stalking the boy trying to uh, become his friend. Now I thought they had some really, I thought they had some really good jump scares, some really tense moments. And I feel like they did a really good job with the production of this movie. Acting was good and I liked it guys. I gave it three and a half out of five. Next up is Doom Patrol season two. This one's releasing on a Blu-ray. Amazon Best Buy and Walmart, $29.99. Target, $31.49. Also releasing on a DVD, Amazon, and Walmart $24.96, Best Buy, and Target $24.99. Warner Brothers sent me over a copy of Doom Patrol, the second season, for review. And I did post an unboxing of this. If you like checked it out, just search for Doom Patrol on my channel. Now, I didn't see season one, so I kind of jumped into season two uh, a little blind. You know, I didn't think that it, it affected me too much, although I was a little confused on some things. I think you can quickly and easily uh, jump into this season if you've missed season one. Now, this one's kind of strange to me because it is a DC show based on DC characters, but there doesn't really seem to be a villain or a good guy or a bad guy or anybody really fighting for anything. Uh, it's these, it's about this guy who his daughter is either immortal or she can live for a really long time and he just wants to make sure to live as long as she does so that she doesn't ever have to live without him. And so he's like did all these experiments on these people and he's kind of given them powers but now they're not super happy or super functional or, or whatever. Um, you know, there's, and they're all kind of just these wide ranging things that he uh, must have done on them. And I think all that was covered probably in season one. And so there's all these episodes in, in each episode. Um, you know, for a long time I was confused, you know, what the story was because uh, they would just kind of like get mad and, you know, try to do their own thing and whatever. And it didn't seem to be like they were trying to fight for anything. And, uh, and maybe that was just my mistake that I, I thought, you know, that they would be fighting somebody. <laughs> Not that there aren't any bad guys that they fight. Um, but, uh, I think the majority of the story is about this young girl and kind of her development. And that's kind of how it, how it ends. And, uh, it was a very strange show. If, if I, gave you the specifics on some of the episodes. Um, it just, it's very strange. Um, but I do like the characters. I especially love Brandon Fraser as the robot. Like I would watch a whole show as just him. Uh, they do really, really love the F word in the show. It's, it's kind of ridiculous. I don't know. I think they should tone it down a little. Um, but overall guys, it is an interesting series. Um, definitely have to go back and watch season one. Um, and I, I'm, and they definitely left it open for a season three if they bring one. Um, but I liked it guys, I gave it a 3 out of 5. Next up is Southland Tales, releasing on a Blu-ray. Amazon and Best Buy $19.99, Walmart $20.31, and Target $27.99. Next up is Snowpiercer, the complete first season, releasing on a Blu-ray and digital. Amazon, Best Buy, Target, Walmart, all $24.99. Also releasing on a DVD. Amazon and Walmart 1996, Best Buy and Target 1999. Now Warner Brothers did send me over a copy of Snowpiercer Season 1 for review. I did post an unboxing of this. If you like to check that out, just search for Snowpiercer on my channel. Now I had never seen uh, the movie and I don't think you really have to because I'm pretty sure this covers uh, pretty much the same material um, or at least the start of the movie or whatever. Uh, so in the near future or future, I don't know if they got into exact time frame, but the world has become too hot or something. So scientists decide to try to cool it and they turn it into basically an ice age and pretty much everyone's dying. And there's this uh, train invented with a thousand and one cars and the rest of humanity, mostly rich people are gonna live the rest of their days, I guess, or until they can not be cold, I don't know. They're gonna, they're gonna live on this train and it's gonna circle the world. Now, unfortunately, they don't really get into like the development of the train, how the train came about, um, how the tracks came about, how like how they go around the whole world. Uh, none of that's really 
uh, gone into, but basically you had to probably pay so much money, which if the world's kind of over, you know, what good is money? And a bunch of people at the last minute kind of just break in to the uh, train and they're kind of like the lowest class citizens on there. Uh, they have the first class, second class, third class, and then the tailies, which are the people who snuck on at the end. And uh, so there's kind of like all this class stuff going on. You know, everybody wants to move up a class. The people in the front think they're the best and they get the best. But at the same time, I'm also confused because like what what's the importance of money at that point? Um, and so there's a murder. And the only person who was a detective before uh, Snowpiercer is a tailie. So they get him and bring him up. And at the same time, the tailies are like trying to start a civil war because, you know, they don't get much food or, or electricity or, you know, everything's just terrible back there. And so they're, they're trying to move up and trying to get things to be more evened out. You know, people in the front have everything and people in the back have nothing. And so he does this investigation. Fortunately, they didn't do the whole season for the investigation. I feel like it was like half the season. So uh, they didn't stretch it out. I don't think too much. And uh, I felt like they, they kind of kept each episode fresh uh definitely ended the season on a cliffhanger um definitely an interesting show guys i enjoyed this one quite a bit definitely looking i'm pretty sure season two has already started uh, i gave this one a three and a half out of five and last up guys we have you season two this one's releasing on a dvd amazon best buy and walmart 22.99 target no listing and Warner Brothers did send me over a copy of You Season 2 for review. I did post unboxing this. If you'd like to check that out, just search for You on my channel. Now, I did not see Season 1 on this one, and I definitely feel like this isn't the kind of show to jump into on Season 2. I did order Season 1, so I definitely will go back and check that one out when I get a chance. But this one is about this guy who, throughout the season, we kind of get these flashbacks of how um, he had tried to kill his girlfriend and she didn't end up dying or whatever and I'm pretty sure he killed or tried to kill more people in season one but more of that is kind of vague I mean they do talk about it but I don't feel comfortable enough in the details to go over it right now and so now he moves to a new town changes his name um, and he meets this woman by chance and he kind of falls in love with her and he doesn't really want to pursue a relationship at first because he's afraid that he'll end up killing her and then he's like you know what I'm gonna be a I'm gonna be a better man because of her and I won't kill her but then he kind of gets into all these crazy situations where he either intentionally or unintentionally murders people um, until the end where uh, his ex-girlfriend kind of comes back and, and tries to ruin everything. And the people in the show are just so crazy and weird. You know, it's California culture. And uh, he basically narrates the whole show. Um, and, and he's like way too aware of everything that's going on. Um, but I, I find it pretty interesting. Like at the beginning, I was just, I wasn't feeling it too much. I think the last couple episodes, they really turn it up. They get super interesting. And uh, the last episode, I wanted to like it more. Um, I, I like the way they were going, and I, but I wanted to like it more, but I feel like they were kind of slowing it down a little bit. But uh, overall, guys, I found it was an interesting show. I give this one a 3 out of 5. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys have seen any of these or if you guys plan on picking any of them up, let me know down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, subscribe for more videos. Check your success videos. And I'll see you guys next time.